and jam-packed by new streaming content. It's a lot to watch. So producer Chris is back with a new and complete list of what to watch. Hey, Chris. Hey, good morning. And listen, early August means the return of a lot of familiar favorites, new seasons of familiar favorites, but we've also got some star-studded new content, and we're gonna start off with a little bit of a dark turn for Ferris Bueller. Take a look. I am an investigator with the U.S. Attorney's Office. You lie, you hurt people, you go down. You ever prosecute a company as big as Purdue Pharma? All of human behavior is essentially comprised of two things. Run from pain, run toward pleasure. Pain, pleasure, pain, pleasure. If we place ourselves right there between pain and pleasure, we will never have to worry about money again. All right, so that was part of the trailer for the new limited series, Painkiller. This one tells the origin of the opioid crisis in the United States through the eyes of, quote, the victims, the perpetrators, and the investigators. So this one stars Matthew Broderick along with Uzo Aduba, Taylor Kitsch, and more. If this sounds like that other Oxycontin-based drama, Dope Sick, yeah. you're not wrong. It is a very similar story. All six episodes are streaming on Netflix Thursday. Kevin also sat down with the director of this. He's going to have that interview coming up for us in a few weeks. Well, it's opening night, and a big star drops dead on stage. Oh, my God. My leading man is dead. Is this really happening? Well, you know, who are we without a homicide? Hanging on, PD! The killer is someone in this room. My show is hanging on by a thread here. Finding this killer is the only way you'll have a show. Want to make a podcast with me? Oh, my God, this is corny. So corny. <laughs> I know it is. Yeah. Murder? Yeah, murder. Yeah. All right, so next up, we've got season three of Only Murders in the Building. This time around, Oscar winner Meryl Streep and Paul Rudd join Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez in the Emmy-nominated comedy. Season two ended with a time jump and a cliffhanger. Season three shows how it all plays out. The first two episodes are streaming right now on Hulu. The rest roll out weekly, Marissa. And that one has been very popular. And when you add star power like they have, I imagine it's only going to get better. Yeah, I was going to say, you had me at Meryl Streep. I mean, if she's in it, I'm watching. I don't know for sure, but this may be one of her first streaming shows that she's done, too. You know what? I think you're right. Wow. And she is the GOAT, so, so yeah, I'm there. Is. And you also have uh, some new seasons of, of older shows, correct? That, that's right. And final seasons of a few of them. We're going to start off with part one of the sixth and final season of The Chai, which is out now on Paramount Plus and Showtime. Also on Paramount Plus, we've got season seven of Billions. This one features the return of original star Damian Lewis. The first episode of that drops on Sunday. For the kids and kids at heart, we've got the fourth and final season of High School Musical, the musical, the series. That's a mouthful. That's out now on Disney Plus. And over on Apple TV Plus, we've got the best-selling graphic novel and social media phenomenon called Strange Planet. Yeah. That makes its streaming debut today. And on Good Day DC last week, Homa talked to the creator of that all about the origin for it. And now this new series based on it. That's a good interview. You can check it out on our Fox 5 DC website. Well, Chris, I have to ask you, out of the ones you just gave us, which one should I start with? Your recommendation. Well, season three of Only Murderers, if you've watched season one and two. Okay. The new one with Matthew Broderick, that one looks very, very compelling, I will say. Okay, all right, so what about the sports fans out there? What do you have for them? I've got three new options for you, starting with season two of the HBO Max hit Winning Time. So this one is all about the rise of the Lakers dynasty, both on and off the court, during the Magic Johnson, Jerry Buss, 1980s heyday. Magic Johnson, now part owner of the Washington Commanders. Episode one dropped on Max on Sunday. The rest roll out weekly. For the football fans, we've got the new season of Hard Knocks. That is out now on Max. This one follows the now Aaron Rodgers-led New York Jets and a kind of reluctant Aaron Rodgers at first. On Netflix, we've got Untold Volume 3, Johnny Football. This one's all about the rise and fall of former Heisman winner Johnny Manziel. Hard Knocks has been one of those shows that 
NFL fans absolutely love, but NFL players traditionally have not loved being a part of it. So that one is probably rife with drama once again, guys. Okay, well, I did start winning time, so at least I <laughs> got a little of the sports there, but a little birdie told me that the next one is just for me, apparently. Yes, I picked this one just for you. I'm sure you know this Friday marks 50 years since the invention of hip hop and a new Netflix docuseries takes a closer look at the role women played in its takeover. Take a look. Black women are crushing it in hip hop right now. Dominating the charts, being the ultimate influences of the culture. We all winning at once in different aspects. There's so many fire women right now, like what? None of this came easy. We have come through a lot. We have stood back up and we'll always keep standing back up. So that's the trailer for Ladies First, a story of women in hip hop featuring Queen Latifah, Remy Ma, and many, many more. This is a four part docuseries. All four episodes are out right now, Marissa. Oh, Chris, you know me too well. <laughs> yes, because you know, I'm also, I mean, I love hip hop, but I'm about female empowerment. And for so long, women didn't get their just due. I mean, we saw Queen Latifah there, one of the pioneers. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that and to see that footprint highlighted in a way that should have been a long time ago, if you ask me. And it's getting great reviews. I'll give you that little spoiler. All right, sounds good. So those are my shows. What about my movies, Chris? All right, I've got two new options for you this week. And Kevin talked about this one on Good Day yesterday. It's called Heart of Stone. It's a spy thriller starring Wonder Woman actress Gal Gadot. It also features Fifty Shades of Grey star Jamie Dornan. It drops August 11th, which is Friday. And you can check out Kevin's interview with the stars on our website and YouTube pages. The other is called Red, White and Royal Blue. It's an L LGBTQ rom-com based on the best-selling book of the same name. At the center of it, a love story between the son of the U.S. president and a British prince and the secrets they have to keep as a result. This one is also out on Friday. You can stream it on Prime Video. This may have been one of my most in-depth and yet still incomplete what to watches I've done yet, but there are always things I'm missing, Marissa. So as always, you can tweet me, producer Chris, and let me know what you're watching at home too. Yes, and please send your recommendations because we look for those just like with our chefs and guest hosts and he'll make sure to get it in the show. So Absolutely. thank you so much. You've never steered us wrong, Chris. So we're thank in good you. hands.